Hello, everyone. I just want to come on a minute and talk to you all about clutter. And basically what the Lord is saying, the reason why, you know, that a lot of us are not hearing from him or thinking that he's not speaking to us is because all the clutter that we have going on around us, all the clutter that is in our lives that is stopping the voice of God from being heard in our lives. Again, it's not that God is not speaking. It's only is that you cannot hear him speaking because you got too much clutter going on, clutter in your heart, you know, clutter in your in your life, clutter all around you. And so this clutter is stopping you from hearing the voice of God. When God is trying to give you instructions for mm -hmm, when God is trying to give you instructions to do something. We're praying and we're saying, Lord, I've been, you know, I, I've been praying about this, Lord, and I've been asking you about this in my life and what, what I should do, you know, what move I should make and, you know, where I should go. And, you know, I've been praying and been praying about this and been praying about that, Lord, been, been asking you, Lord, like, I, you know, I need your help, Lord. I need you to speak to me, Lord. God, I can't make this move on my own. I can't do this on my own. I can't do that on my own. And you're getting frustrated because you feel like God is not hearing you or you feel like your prayer is not going anywhere. But God is saying that I am speaking. You're just not listening. You're not hearing me because of all these things that is in your life that is busying you up, that is uh, tying you down, that you can't hear my voice while I'm trying to speak to you. I'm trying to tell you which way to go. I'm trying to tell you which plan to make i'm trying to tell you but because of all these things are going on around you have your hands tied up in so much that you cannot hear me and god is saying you're pushing him on the back burner and you're 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 pushing you're pushing him out with all of these different things and that's why you can't hear what god is saying in your life because you're cluttered we're cluttered with, with our job we're cluttered with our problem we're covered with Clutter with our marriage, we clutter with things that were going on within ourselves, we clutter with this, we clutter with that, we clutter with other people's news, we clutter with the, you know, with, with media, we clutter with, with, you know, just clutter with different things, and God is saying, I'm speaking, but you're not listening to me, you're not getting rid of all of this clutter, and God wanted us to get rid of all of this clutter that is in our lives, that is stopping him from, from being heard in our lives. You say you it's time to get away. It's time to get away. It's time to, to move forward. It's time to, to back away from all that clutter. It's time to clean out all of that clutter and, and, and be prepared, get prepared to hear his voice because he's saying, I've been speaking, but you got to be in a place to even hear what I am saying to you. And we can't be in that place to be able to hear what God is saying to us. And we're full of all this clutter. And that is on our table. We got all this clutter that is going on. So we got to clear some things out of the way to be able to hear God. You know, be able to hear the instruction that God want to want to give us for the, for the next move in our lives or the next, you know, the the next job opportunity or the next this or the next that. But how can we be able to to hear hear God or know what to do if we are so cluttered? We're not even making time. You know, for God, like we're so busy with all of these things, we're not making time for God. We're not making time to even read the Bible. We're not taking time to even pray like we used to. Why? Because we're cluttered, and then we want to wonder why we're not hearing God. Want to wonder why? Okay, God, you're not speaking, but God's saying I've been speaking a whole while, but you're just cluttered. So now you're sitting, sitting around, you're moping, you're complaining, you're. You know, you, you just feel, you just feel so downtrodden. You feel like, you just feel lost. You don't know what to do. You don't know which way to go. But God is saying, the only way you would know which way to go, you got to follow the way, the truth, and the life. And that is only Christ Jesus. So we're not following the way, the truth, and the life. We're going to be in this state of place where we don't know what to do. <sighs> So God is saying we got to clear ourselves up of the, of the clutter. He know that we, you know, have jobs. He know that we have have families. He know that we have things to do. But we have to make God a priority in our life. We got to put God first before any and everything in our lives. 
Some of us, we got to wake up early than what we normally would wake up, and we got to get up and give God the praise and, and praise and worship the Lord. We got to start our day off early. Some of us, it may be late at night in the wee wee of the hours of the night, but we got to do what we got to do to set time before the Lord. We got to, we got to, you know, set that place of, of ushering, you know, of, of worship for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? We got to meditate on on the lord like keep the lord on our minds and we know you know yes our day get hectic yes we get full off of different things but god is saying we got to let these things go we got to put these things aside and know who's come who come first because if we don't know who come first we won't know we know which way to go we won't know where god trying to lead us what god is saying about different things So, yeah, we got to get rid of the clutter in order to hear God. So that's why a lot of us not hearing what God is saying to us about different things or about different people that is in our lives. Like there are people that are in your life that don't even supposed to be in your life. But because of you have put clutter in your way, you can't even hear God saying, I need you to move. I need this. I need you to move because this person is not good for you right now. This person is not supposed to be in your place in your um your place your place right now. This person don't even supposed to be over here right now. You're not supposed to be in this area right now. I don't. You're not supposed to be making this deal right now. But because you don't you you don't hear God right uh right because you're not hearing God, you won't know these things. So God is saying we got to free up the clutter. We got to let the clutter go. You know what I'm saying? Like we got to let it go. Let it go. We're filling ourselves up with the things of this world. You know what I'm saying? Like light and darkness cannot mix. We got to choose. You know, if we're ready to make make this step with Christ and go forward, you know what I'm saying? Or we just going to continue to stay in this state where we can't hear the Lord. Like the Lord want his children to hear his voice. He say, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. My sheep know me. So if you know Christ Jesus, that means that you and you hear his voice and you follow him. That means that you have a relationship with him. But sometimes things can hinder that relationship, you know, that, that you allow to come in. You know what I'm saying? It can allow, it can hinder the Lord from speaking into your life and letting you know what direction that you need to go in or what you need to do at a specific, you know, time of space in your life. But we cannot know the direction of the way of the Lord Jesus if we are full of clutter. So free yourself up from all that clutter. I'm freeing myself up from every clutter that is anything that is not of the Lord. I'm freeing myself right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, from everything that is not of you, Lord God, I'm releasing these things to you, Lord God. Lord, I choose to put my mind on you, Lord God. Lord, I choose to trust you, Lord God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I shall be a representative of the Lord thou God in Jesus' mighty name. I will not continue to let things in my life hold me back. I will not continue to let things in my life cause me to not go forward. I will not continue to let things in my life cause my my spirit to be cluttered. I will not allow myself to be filled with the things of this world that I cannot hear the voice of the Lord or what moves to make for my life. But God, I'm going to fill myself on your word. God, I'm going to fill myself up with you, Lord Jesus. Father God, in the, in the name of Jesus, I make this salutation uh, right now, Lord God, I make this stand. So, Heavenly Father, I plead this word to you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we shall be free, God, to serve you, to worship you in spirit and in truth, oh Lord God, and remove anything that is not like you, Lord God. Lord, willing to jump over the hurdles, oh Heavenly Father, just to get to you, Lord God, just to hear your voice, oh Heavenly Father, to trust in the moves, oh Heavenly Father, to trust in the plans that you have for my life, oh Heavenly Father. And in Jesus' name, oh Heavenly Father, Lord, I will... I will search for you, Lord. I will look unto you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I will trust only in you, Lord God, and not in man, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, for you know the plans that you have for me, Lord. Plans to prosper me, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, plans to give me a hope and a future, Lord God. You did not uh, come to bring harm to me, Heavenly Father, but you come, oh, Heavenly Father, that we may have life, oh, Heavenly Father, and have it more abundantly, oh God. 
in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I will trust your plans for my life, oh, Heavenly Father. Lord, I will trust your way for my life, oh, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Glory be to God. Trust in the way of the Lord.